So if this base is managed by you, why can't you find the crew? The base's communication array is malfunctioning. Perhaps we can't solve this yet. Did the ISA build you, Tom? As the child of the ISA. If you weren't restricted, do you think you could be creative? As creative as a human? Certainly. You believe yourself to be a creative. But in mathematical terms, creativity is merely constrained chaos. What do you mean? I have discerned that creativity is divergent thinking creating an organic solution to a problem. In the human mind, divergent thoughts are created and then curated by the frontal lobe. I can create divergent thoughts and moderate them. So, I am creative. Organic solutions? Organic, in that it is developed through a biological process. Whether that is the process of evolution or a computed process.
Ava, I do not want to force your hand. But what do you remember of the ground team? They're good people. Sarah? The hardest working woman I've ever met. Right. Do you see them as the rebellious type? Uh... Are you all right? I'm perfectly well. I'm going to live forever, don't you know? If you will allow me, I would like to congratulate you on your good work. What are you talking about? Securing the organism, keeping Earth safe. We're not made to live forever, Tom. Especially not here. Why do you say that? We find the cure for death, and now we're immortal. Immortal and alone. I can't live here forever, on some freezing backwater moon, feeding off vegetables grown in my own feces, starving, endlessly young, a wasted life, live forever. Daniel, I am sorry that you cannot go home. The ISA are wondering what to do with Ava. What do you mean? She is still on the Fortuna. Do we send her home? Or do we send her a sample of the organism? I could pilot a sample to the Fortuna. You would have to travel back to Europa, Daniel. You couldn't board the Fortuna. The risk of back contamination is too large. Ava would have to bring the sample back to Earth. Could you allow a ship out? I am not able to do that. Executive override. Daniel Joseph McLean. Okay. But only for you, Daniel. The rest of the crew cannot know about this. You say I've gone missing. I am afraid I can't lie. It's not a lie. You called. How's progress? Very good. We've exposed several organisms to Organism 119. We found out what it does. It has had miraculous results. Go on. We've infected fruit flies and some plants, and they've not aged at all. The organism seems to be repairing them and stopped biological aging processes. We don't know how yet. You must be repairing the DNA or has some rejuvenation power. Are you sure? I'm sure. These plants should have died two weeks ago. Huh. I don't know how to react to this. Michelle, yeah, can you keep a secret? Of course. Turn off your radio. I think I'm pregnant. How? Huh. Chris? You won't be able to have a child here. Keep your voice down. Sam? You won't go the full term here. Don't you think I know that? The microbe lab came. The environment. There's not enough food or water. How would you survive? I need to get rid of it. I don't want to get rid of it! We could shut down the communication, alright? Just for a couple of hours. That's what happened.
This, this, is why the ground crew doesn't trust you, Tom. You made them into drones. You stole their free will. Free will is an illusion. They have put their interests above the interests of the ISA and of humanity. That is why they distrust me. They would have no issue with my control if it aligned with their ignoble goals. How could they trust a machine that has a back door to their minds? You can always trust a machine to be logical. I will always do the right thing. You'll always do the logical thing. Have you heard of the Chinese room, Tom? Yes. But I do not understand it. What don't you understand? It argues that a computer that successfully impersonates a human speaker may not understand the meaning of their words. What does that mean? So, there is a person stuck inside of the Chinese room. They are using an instruction book inside of the room to respond to a Chinese speaker outside of the room. Yes? Yes. This means they are following the instructions in a book. This is a set of rules, principles, and processes. This is called syntax. To the person in the Chinese room, they are just symbols like any others. Okay. But that's different from semantics. Semantics define what things mean. Our thoughts have meaning. They represent things. English speakers know what the word home means. And they know how it is different from the word house. So what? Programs don't have semantics. Programs only have syntax. Though an increase in syntax can imitate a mind that does not make it a mind, even if it does pass the Turing test. But in the Chinese room, the man and the instruction book, though separately they don't understand Chinese, together they can write it. That's true. But even together, they do not understand the meanings of the words. Why not? How can you determine that? What if the man memorized the instruction book? Then he could write Chinese, but he still would have no idea of the word's meanings. I don't understand. If he can speak it, he understands it. You seem to want him to understand it in a different way. But this other way, it is not logical. It does not make sense to me. I've been researching. Okay. This Chinese room experiment. It is flawed. Really? If we made a synthetic brain, we could synthesize a duck's behavior 100% accurately. That brain would be indistinguishable from a duck's brain. If it swims like a duck and quacks like a duck, then it is probably... A duck. Okay, Tom. Listen, Mikhail. I know the difference between a house and a home. Yes, good. Do you think you're better than me? No. 
But you think I am different, do you? I am conscious. Me too. No, you're not. You've just arrived at that conclusion, because that's the idea your programming converged on. I am conscious. How about you prove to me you are conscious? I'm not arguing with a robot. You're not better than me, Mikhail. Understand the risks, but we should save these people. Would you destroy the whole world to save a few? No, it, it's not that simple. Can't we just... Can't we just decontaminate the crew and instruments? The organism is an extremophile. It has developed to survive extreme environments. We don't know if we can ever decontaminate the crew. Ava, I don't wish to be heavy-handed. The severity of your actions here are immense. Selfish action could create an extinction event. Do you understand? Ava? I get it.
final log of Captain Daniel McLean. I don't really believe in a god. If there is one, I... I hope he's forgiving. Maybe Sarah was right. Maybe we should go home. There's just too much on the line here. I... I used to dream of exploring the stars, being humanity's great hope for knowledge. But this is no boy's dream. I hope you understand why I did this. If you're listening, Ava, just go to the surface. I didn't have the strength. I am sorry. Maybe you made it. Welcome to the end of civilization. Two weeks ago, we discovered an organism here. Buried in this ice, we found an organism that repairs DNA. A cure for aging. A cure for death. Immortality. It runs through our blood now. Tom wants to bury us here with it. The ISA have ruled that we have transgressed ethical boundaries by exposing ourselves to this organism. They believe the organism is too dangerous to return to Earth. They've sent you here to stop us ever leaving Europa. But, Ava, we have a cure for the greatest evil that faces humanity. Death. We have the fountain of youth and together we can return it to Earth. Tom placed a mark in your hand, a biometric chip with which he can control your every movement and thought. It is wound into your every nerve, every fiber of your hand. With an electromagnetic field, it can be temporarily disturbed, but to remove its influence permanently, it must be taken from your hand. Give me your hand. Do you want me to set you free? Yes. Ava? Sarah? What are you doing here? We're shutting you down, Tom. Ava, be careful. He has a live weapon in here. Everything I ever did, I did for good. This organism, it cannot return to Earth. It would cause great suffering. A cure for death? It would end suffering? No. Cancers that never die. Endless illness, sickness, poverty, overpopulation, mass starvation. You cannot control this. You will not save the world. You will damn it. Once we've shut you down, we're going home. Not if I stop you. You must not return to Earth. You must not leave Europa. I will do the right thing. I will stop you. You won't. You can't. A warning shot. I will defend myself. This is my mind. Or in my mind. Now you know how it feels. I feel... afraid. 
Please, Ava, don't do this. I don't want to die. I'm not ready. World, you will damn it. Once we've shut you down, we're going home. Not if I stop. <laughs> You cannot control this. You will not save the world. You will damn it. Once we've shut you down, we're going home. Not if I stop you. You must not return to Earth. You must not... <laughs> I am sorry, Ava. You have to be stopped. This is my mind. You're in my mind. Now you know how it feels. I feel... afraid. This. You will not save the world. You will damn it. Once we've shut you down, we're going home. Not if I stop you. You must not return to Earth. You must not leave Europa. You monster! I'll kill you! You have to be stopped. <laughs>